if you are just starting your global simulation everything seems confusing everything seems very difficult but we have solution for you in this video today we are going to tackle globus year six and we're going to take you step by step process and after watching this video we strongly believe that you are not going only to get the, the highest score in your global simulation but you are also going to emerge the best worldwide we have been doing this severally and in several locations we have been coming out up like um top 10 sometimes top 30 and in most occasions they have never been second in globus so this video is for anyone who not only want to pass their global simulation but they also need to do the very best okay without uh much we can go ahead and start uh, doing our global simulation but before doing that kindly take a minute and subscribe to our channel so that next time we have video like this one youtube is, is going to let you know and will not miss out any of this content because i believe they are very helpful for anyone who is taking global simulation we also do other simulation in case you enroll for any other simulation you can check in our channel and um, you'll get some useful video that will bring you up to speed when while you start doing your simulations okay let's go straight to product design and we can see how we can design our product first of all you have two products uh, that is action capture camera and UAV drones this uh, product uh, they serve uh, nearly or they complement each other maybe you can have a new UAV drone but uh, those drones for them to carry their own the purpose they are meant for they need an action capture camera so now uh, before we proceed we need first to understand the kind of strategy that we'll be using in most cases we prefer to go for uh, global differentiation because we want to have a product that is quite unique that is it has the highest pq rating with high pq rating um, you'll, you'll be able to enjoy a uh, price above industrial average because customer will be willing to pay more for more features that you are offering them let's go to product design now and we'll start with the action capture camera for uh, action capture camera there are some features that customers are looking for this include image sensor size lcd display screen image quality numbers of photos modes product enhancements such as camera housing editing and sharing cap capability and other accessories we also have a product r d expenditure okay and uh, now let's start with the image sensor size and um, we start by increasing it um, maybe from 11 millimeters you can also try 12 millimeters while doing this make sure that you check the production cost per unit because we are uh, using differentiation strategy we are expecting that because we are improving the image sensor and other features the cost of production per unit is going to be higher again let's go to lcd display screen now let us increase to maybe 1040k and see how our production cost has increased as you can see the production cost has increased a little bit uh, we can also go to image quality and you can try maybe 3840 by 2160 pixel and again go and check the production cost while checking the production cost also check the projected year six performance to ensure that um, you are meeting not only earning per share but other features again let's go to number of photo mode you can now try 10 to 4 again you can check the production cost per unit now it's at 170.94 other features like such as product enhancement these are considered to be the cheapest way to increase the pq rating you can increase them to the maximum like uh, camera housing let's try maybe 13 you can see like um, it has also increased the pq rating now we have 4.7 go to editing and sharing capabilities you can also try 13 um, and see go check the cost per production cost per unit finally let's also include the uh, other accessory we can have 13 too and uh, extra performance features let's try five or four now we are having pq rating of 5.6 uh, we can leave something like a uh, product r d expenditure at twenty thousand, but uh, this will change later depending on uh, like how the competitive level is we are spending some money now in the product r d 
uh, expenditure because we want to make it easier for our product to be revised and also to attain maybe a higher PQ rate. But the moment that uh, we it reach a point where we feel like uh, we have attained all the required uh, PQ rating and uh, the and you are not getting any additional advantage by increasing the level of PQ rating that we are having, there will be no need for us to spend so much money in the R&D expenditure. I believe that's all for action capture camera product design. Now we can go to UAV drone. Similar to action capture camera, we have these features that customers are looking for while they are going to purchase the UAV drone. These include built-in camera, GPS, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, battery pack, number of rotors, rotors performance, flight controller, body frame construction, obstacle sensor, camera stabilization device, extra performance features, number of UAV drone models, and also for product R&D expenditure, this is something that will help us to increase the PQ rating quite easily. Uh, this is not something that customers are looking for. Customers are looking for at the end product. When we start with the built-in camera, you can see uh, we are just improving to have like a significant upgrade uh, because uh, if we go maybe to major upgrade, it is going to be very expensive to produce these UAV drones. When it comes to uh, GPS, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi, we are offering advanced features and while doing this we are checking the cost of production per unit because we do not want to go overboard and have a very expensive product because this is a new one because uh, previously this company was not producing the drone this is a new product they have that they are just introducing the market and we want to start small but while growing slowly before we attain the where we want to be in terms of the quality of the drone that we are offering the market when it comes to battery pack uh, we are offering 15 minutes this is quite good especially because we are just beginning number of rotor eight can do just okay and while doing this again consider checking the cost of production per unit of this uh, product so that you do not have a very expensive product that the market will not able to afford uh, now let's go to rotor performance we have enhanced it and the body framework you're having fiberglass this is not the strongest material available but uh, for the beginning it will just do okay obstacle sensor we are having front and back but when uh, we move forward maybe in year seven and eight we can have 360 um, but for now just because we are just starting and we are trying to cut down the cost because it's a new product we are introducing we can have front and rear obstacle sensors when it comes to camera stabilization we have enhanced and this will just do okay and again we are watching the pq rating because you can see for our camera we are having pq rating of 5.6 this is just good for beginning because now we don't know how our competitor are going to do depending after year six how our competitor are performing especially those who will be closely yeah, thinking like us they are going for global differentiation we'll know how we are going to manage our pq rating when we go to extra performance features having eight features is just okay number of UAV drone model having two for now is okay because if we increase the number of model it will be quite difficult to attain a higher uh, PQ rating for now but uh, if we start small and as we go ahead we improve the number of models slowly by slowly we'll manage to have many number of models and that will really help us to increase our market share that's all when it comes to product design for our UAV drone as well as uh, the cameras that we are offering you can see now we have attained a 5.6 pq rating for our camera and 5.3 pq rating for our drone this is just good for beginning as we go ahead we are going to change depending on how our competitors are going to perform before doing the marketing section it is good if we can check our comparative competitive effort and see how uh, the system used to price the product so that we do not go overboard and overcharge our customer or we do not go and undercharge our customer in a such a way that I uh, will not make a decent profit. As you can see, all the product has a PQ rating of 4.0 and number of models offered by each company is about three for all of them and the price they charged was 225 for, for SE camera. For UAV drone, the price is uh, 1,100 
Q rating is 4.0, number of model is 2 for all our competitors. There are some that will go for low-cost provi provincial strategy, and um, they are likely going to maintain maybe the same level of PQ rating, or they are going to reduce. But the fact that uh, we have considered global differentiation, for us, the target is to go upper in terms of PQ rating, and at the same time, we are going to charge um, more than our competitors. Let's go back to marketing. And um, in all region, we are going to price our camera uh, at uh, $330 per unit. We are also going to increase our retailer support budget, advertisement budget, web display budget, and we are going to uh, increase our number of week when it comes to sales and promotion, as well as the discount that we are offering. We are also going to change the warrant that we are offering, maybe and try to have uh, uh, more or increase the warrant period that uh, we are offering to our customer. When you start with the North America, you can see that uh, we are increasing the retailer support budget to 2,700. Advertisement budget uh, we are increasing to 2,800. While website design, displaying and information we are increasing to 2,500. When it comes to sales promotion, we are having 9 weeks and 16% discount. Warrant period have increased from 60 to 90 days. For Europe and Africa region, the price is the same to that of America, but uh, retailer support uh, we are having uh, 2,900. And um, advertisement budget, we are having uh, 2,800, while our website display we are having 2,700. Sales promotion, we are going to run the promotion for nine weeks uh, in Europe and Africa. And again, we are having a 16% discount. Warrant period, we have also increased to 90 days. For Asia Pacific region, the price uh, we are charging is 330 per unit. Retailer support budget, uh, we are having 2,500. While uh, advertisement budget, we are having also 2,500. And website display, 2,700. Sales and promotion, uh, we are running it for seven weeks and we are offering 16% discount. Uh, for warrant period, we are also having 90 days. In Latin America, we are also charging uh, 330. And um, retailer support budget is 2,500. Advertising budget, 2,500. Website display, uh, we are having 1,700. We are running the promotion for nine weeks and we are offering 16% discount. Warrant period is 90 days. While doing all this uh, decision, make sure you check the uh, scoring measures. That is uh, earning per share, return on, return on equity, credit rating, and image score. Most importantly, make sure you check the net profit to make sure that um, you are having an only positive result. Now, because you are just beginning, don't be overambitious because when you are too ambitious, you are, the likelihood of you making a mistake is very high. Just make sure that you have something that is decent and something that is reasonable so that you do not uh, uh, make a wrong projection that will lead you to losses. Having done for camera, let's go to drone and we complete it market, its marketing department. Again, um, for UAV drone, we'll start with North America. And you can see in North America, we are charging 1,550 per unit. We are offering 15% discount. When it comes to website product display information, we are having a budget of 3,000. Search engine advertisement, we are having a budget of 3,200. While retailer recruitment and support budget, we are having 2,500. For warrant period, we are having 90 days. While doing this decision, again, make sure that you keep on checking the net profit. And wherever you are entering, make sure in most cases, it is increasing your net profit. Let's now go to Europe and Africa. Um, our average price is uh, 1,550 also. We are also offering a 15% discount. Our website product display and information budget, we are having 2,500. While search engine advertising budget, we are having 3,000. Retailer recruitment support budget, we are having 2,000. And warrant period is for 60 days. Again, while made doing this, make sure your net profit keeps on increasing. In some cases, the net profit can reduce, but um, generally, 
make sure that uh, whatever you are doing it lead to an advantage which is increasing the net profit uh, when we go to asia pacific asia pacific we are also having a We are also having a price of 1550 15% uh, discount 2000 in website display search engine 2200 and then uh, retailer recruitment 1500 now we have changed to 1800 finally in latin america uh, we are having uh, a price of 1550 discount 15% website display information budget 1800 search engine advertising budget 1800 and trailer recruitment support budget 1500 uh, warrant period uh, in latin america we're running for 90 days again we can try something new uh, because we are just done uh, doing the marketing for the drones now let's try to increase the price a little bit we can start with latin america we can start you can change it to 1590 you can see after we have changed to 1590 uh, it has had some little impact on our net profit it has it has increased a little bit let's do the same for other regions while checking the net profit and when we changed in uh, europe and africa that's where we had the biggest impact because net profit increased to 40,000 and a little further when you change in north america it has also maintained above forty thousand. so you can just play with these numbers and ensure that um, any number that you are entering is resulting in a positive outcome that's what we are trying to do here there's no exact formula of doing this thing but um, as long as you have a strategy you can also have, you can always have a way of finding the best way to maximize your profit when we go to compensation and training let's try to increase our best practice training and uh, we can have uh, the maximum which is 9000 and we can try to reduce while taking the projected part productivity you can see 6000 is just giving a good result when it comes to ac camera compensation and uh, for uav let's try 9000 the it has a, had a very little impact on our net profit because uh, the net profit is still uh, above 40,000. Yeah. We can leave it at 9,000 for the drone. That is best practice training. Uh, for AC camera assembly and UAV drone assembly, we are looking at uh, assembly ca capability. For now, you can see our capability. What we are producing is only 870, and our capability at the maximum is 1044. For the drone, what we are producing now is 155 and capability is 186. Therefore, there's no need for expansion uh, because it is going to take some time before we need an expansion. Uh, because uh, we are also uh, utilizing the broad differentiation strategy, there will be no additional benefit of us uh, initiating an upgrade to the robots in our company. We can use just the manual production that we are using. The question is, should we uh, upgrade our robots or maintain the, what we have? We can only answer this question if we try to upgrade. And when we upgrade, we are looking at the net annual cost impact of robot upgrade. Uh, in, um, for uh, the cameras, you can see we are having plus 216. And for the drone, we are having plus 378. The, annual, the net annual cost impact, for it to make sense, it needs to be a negative. Therefore, upgrading for now does not uh, make any sense because if you want to make money from anything, it needs to, to help us to cut down the cost or maximize our profit. Uh, I believe uh, for now, this is not adding us any profit. We should leave it now. But uh, in case we were doing a strategy like a uh, low cost, uh, upgrading uh, to robot will make a uh, lot of sense because the goal there is to must produce so that you can make a profit but uh, the goal here for us because we are differentiator is to produce quality product that will attract a very high price and in turn maximize our profits 
that's all when it comes to compensation and facility we can go to other sections let's go to corporate citizenship we have skipped a special contract offer because now it is not available in a corporate citizenship charitable contribution we are having, we are offering one percent of our operating profit and this uh, resulted to a, a positive uh, impact we are not uh, offering any green initiative for now because this is very expensive and uh, it's taking a lot from our profit renewable energy program we are spending 1000 and improving working condition we are offering both cafeteria on-site ch child care facility for implant employee we are also offering additional equipment and improved lighting institution code of conduct and compliance monitoring of suppliers we are also doing that because we want our product to be ethical from where they are being sourced finally let's go to finance and in finance we are doing two things as you can see the loan that we inherited they are having a very huge interest of 8.5 percent but uh, current loan Five years bank loan only have a six percent interest, and ten years loan have only six point five percent interest. Therefore, we can refinance this old loan so that we can start paying a very low interest. That's the reason why we have uh, repaid early the 16,000 16, uh, loan and sixty-four thousand loan, with both having an interest of eight point five percent. And also, we have issued some dividend of 0 0.5 because we want to increase our return on equity. We have also uh, repurchased uh, some stock, 200 of them. And th the goal here is to maximize our earning per share as well as our return on equity. Uh, to do this, and uh, not uh, having to require the bank overdraft, we are taking 10 years bank loan of about uh, 145,000. And that's and that is all because um, it has balanced our financial structure because now our ending cash balance is uh, sixteen thousand eight zero one, and we are also having a profit of forty one thousand. Revenue is about five hundred k, and um, compared to the previous year, which was year five, we are doing very well. And uh, that's all for finance. And fortunately, that's all for our global simulation. Uh, in case you are having any question or you are having difficulty completing your global simulation, we are here for you. You can comment below or you can send us a personalized message or an email via the email information provided in the video description. We have also provided uh, in the video description our WhatsApp link. This will really make it easier for you to communicate with us. Kindly uh, text us and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And in any way, we believe that will be of great help to you. That's all for today. Also remember to subscribe to our channel so that we can grow together. Have a nice time.